हेलो स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके वेरी गुड सो आई थिंक दैट ऑल यू आर रिवाइजिंग द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस इन द क्लास नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस योर बोर्ड लेवल्स दैट इज सम क्वेश्चन विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट फॉर बेसिकली टेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स दो आर गोइंग टू अपियर्स on board exams on this years that means the in 23 uh, is it clear okay so uh, some questions are really you have done i think that already i have completed in this lectures uh, you can see but today again the questions i am going to repeat that's are very important okay so question first you know that already we have discussed ओम्स लॉ ओम्स लॉ ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वी हैव रेजिस्टिविटी ओके रेजिस्टिविटी रेजिस्टिविटी अनदर्स इलेक्ट्रिक इलेक्ट्रिक इनर्जी नेक्स्ट इलेक्ट्रिक power another more questions registers in series registers in series next registers registers in parallel okay and joule's law joule's law these are the questions First, second, third, fourth. This is the fifth, sixth, and seven questions. These questions are really very important for you that you have to complete. Those who want to write the board exams, those who are preparing, you can see all the questions you will find in the question bank. Is it clear? And mostly, I think that these questions uh, every years. Okay, repeats. in your board exams either whatever any exam uh, any board you have cbsc jac icsc delhi board whatever any board mostly these questions repeated so better you complete these ones and that's a very important questions this is the important question for 10th and 12th okay 10th and 12th student okay and also those who are preparing for the competition exam uh, you have to see this question because related this one you will solve the numericals okay so firstly i am going to discuss your one by one so first ohms law what is the ohms law ohms law you know that if the physical condition remaining okay uh, remaining unchanged so whenever the current will flow through the circuits so currents and the potential difference across the two ends that will directly proportional okay again i am repeating it states that if the physical okay uh, physical conditions that is the temperatures mechanical strain like that remaining unchanged then the current flowing through the circuit okay is always directly proportional to the applied potential difference across the two ends it means the potential difference will directly proportional to the i okay and if you will remove this ones so you will write v equal to ri v equal to ri what is the i okay what is r where where r equal to electrical resistance okay electrical resistance very good electrical resistance okay so you will get this formula and if you will plot the uh, graph so here this is the x axis this is the y axis and origin is this okay and that is called the vi graph so this will valid if the constant temperatures on the constant mechanical strains like that is it clear okay very good so 
you will write this one a statement i have already dictated on the previous classes you can see and although already i have told by the statements you can write so first you will write that is the ohm's law okay next you have resistivity resistivity it is the materials which opposes opposes of flow of electrons in the conductors is it clear whenever the electrons moves in the conductors resist the function of the resistance function of resistance to oppose the oppose but uh, due to pressures of the potentials electrons move in the conductors so what happens question is that what is the resistivity resistivity just like you can say that the reciprocal of also the conductivity you can say and we have the formula resistivity that means resistivity you know the resistance of a conductors depends on the flowing factors what is the factors you have factor first r is directly proportional to the length of the conductors whatever the length having the conductor suppose that l is the length and this a is the area of cross sections on that you will write r is directly proportional to the length of the conductors second what you will write it is also inversely proportional to area of cross sections that means r that is the 1 by a can we write here okay very good now combine okay combine 1 and 2 if you will combine then r is okay proportionality l by a you will write remove this one then again you will write here rho l by a can we write okay very good and here rho is the proportionality constant that is called the elect resistivity is it clear okay so you can write here where rho is proportionality proportionality constant okay proportionality constant which is called which is called electrical electrical resistivity electrical resistivity okay it means you can find out the resistivity just like by cross multiply so you will write r a equal to rho l therefore rho equal to r a by l can we write this ones okay very good so this you will write okay that is the resistivity okay this question you will complete another you have electric energy electric energy you know that whenever we do some works that is on that case we needed some energy is it clear we needed some energy it means the total work done by source of emf total work done by source of emf in maintaining the electric circuit okay electric current in the circuit again i am repeating it can be defined as the energy okay or the total energy total energy okay or what we can say the total work done by the source of emf in maintaining the electric currents in the circuits in given time whatever the time interval is given okay and you can write you know that the energy formula energy that is measured in the joule what is the si unit in joule and work is also measured in joule so w is equal to what you can write here so you can write w is equal to w is equal to you will write uh, because uh, time that is the uh, energy energy that is the uh, force into displacement in terms also you can write okay but uh, time is also mentioned now so what you will write one formula you have potential v is equal to what will be v potential equal to w amount of work done by charge amount of work done by charge so you can cross multiply then you will write here a uh, vq can be right okay vq we have but already we have the formula v is equal to ri can we substitute here okay so if you will put v is equal to ri 
so w equal to what you will write here you will write here r i and then q okay r i and q will multiples and also you will write uh, v you can find out the value of v so what will be the v v equal to or q is equal to also what is the value q q is equal to q is equal to i t also this value you can substitute so here will be r i into i t it means r i square t that will also so w is equal to this you can also write and since you know that so w is equal to e w is equal to e it means e equal to you can write r i square t that will also one more formula that you can also write okay in terms of another you can find out also how you will find out you will find out by using your ohms law and current already because we have the formula okay i is equal to q by t yes current flowing that is you can say that uh, i is equal to i is equal to q by t okay charge flowing per unit time is it clear so you can find out on others you have electric powers okay electric power that is the four power means what you can define the amount of work done per unit time amount of work done per unit time that is called work uh, sorry electric powers and electric power you can write electric power equal to work or work done by work done by that is the time means p is equal to w by t we can write and w is equal to we have w is equal to what you will write vq by t q is equal to also you can write this formula q is equal to i t okay since q is equal to i t put this will so p is equal to v i t by t so t and t will cancel out p is equal to v i okay you can write this one p is equal to v i another also you can put because since you have v is equal to r i v is equal to r i then put here so p is equal to r i into i it means p is equal to r i square so this will also value okay of p so we have this value another value this one you can also write this value also you can you know students related these questions suppose that you have to calculate the amount when suppose that okay uh, the energy bill uh, you have to find out then you can use the formula and find out i think that some questions also i have solved you can see in the previous until now those who have not subscribed please subscribe this okay channels and also press the i bell button because you will get the notification whenever i will upload the new videos okay and another you also share after completing this video and next questions we have the register in series register in series that means what is the registers whenever two or more registers are connected end to end that is called no okay very good so whenever two or more registers are connected in series and then the same amount of current passes through this we can say this is the resistors in series okay students and resistor in parallel and joule's law three questions in the next class i will discuss but some questions today i have discussed ohm's law resistivity electric energy electric power four question i have discussed and that's a very important questions now next question i am going to discuss next in the next video okay this three question but you will complete this questions okay students thank you and prepare for your board exams